Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, September the 24th, and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, low frequency beacons. And we're going to look at the uh, low frequency reception. We're going to use uh, three different types of receivers. The first one we're going to look at is the Sony ICF 7600. I've had this receiver for a long time, at least 20 years, if not 30. Uh, here's the SDR IQ, which is a very popular uh, SDR type of radio. And here we have the RTL SDR, which I've talked about in previous blog posts along with the up converter. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the low frequency be beacons available in the Toronto area. Um, I've got a program here. Uh, it's from the dxinfocenter.com uh, by William Hepburn, and he lists all the um, low frequency beacons. So I did a search for Toronto. Uh, so I know uh, what's available locally. So let's go outside and we'll first, first look at the Sony ICF and see what we can receive. There's the buddy pole antenna, which I'll be using with the SDR and the RTL. But with the Sony, we'll just use the whip antenna. So let's get that set up. So I'm going to pull the whip out. We'll go to the first station. First station is 248 kilohertz of 50 watts. It's at Toronto Buttonville. So let's see if we can get it. So we can pick it up, it's fairly weak. Just make up the call. Call is transmitted in Morse code, it's KZ. Let's try the next one. That transmitter is Gibraltar Point, call sign TZ. The call signs are sent out in Morse code. That's kind of weak. But you can hear it. Next one, 341. That's quite readable. That's 40 watts, it's in Meadow Vale, and the call sign is ZLP. So that's directly readable. Let's try the next one, 368. That's 25 watts in the Queensway, call sign ZYZ. Quite readable. Next one is 391. Call sign OO in Oshawa, 50 watts. Okay, and the final one is 403. watts at Wood Hill. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six low frequency beacons that we've heard on the Sony. So we're going to go inside and we're going to listen to the other two radios. Okay, so we're going to uh, listen to the low frequency beacons on the SDR IQ first. So let's just step through them. Uh, I found that the SDR IQ and the RTL are not quite as sensitive as the uh, Sony the low end here. So here we've got the first frequency, 248. I've set it up for um, about 600 kilohertz or 600 um, uh, 600 hertz below. Um, 248 kilohertz and I got a filter width of 1200 hertz so that way uh, I got a narrow filter and stational fault just in there so on the first one there you can see a slight pulsing of the on off carrier there but you can't hear it so we can look at the first one let's try the next one same thing there you can barely hear it let's try 341 which is at LP Make it out there a little bit weak. And 
Let's try 368. That's pretty strong. Problem receiving that. ZYZ means way. Got 391. Weak, but it's readable. See the signal there. All sign O O. And hear that. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the RTL. I'm stop this. And I'm going to turn on the RTL, switch the antenna. Okay, so we're going to listen to the uh, RTL SDR. Uh, I've just gone through the various beacon frequencies, and the first couple, 248, 257, and 341, are pretty weak. So we're going to listen to 368. Let's listen to that. I've got uh, 20 dB of gain on here. Let's just look at that. Well, I've set the gain here at 20 dB. And uh, don't forget, when we're using the up converter, you have to put in minus 125 megahertz. Because everything... So there's my 368. It looks quite nice. It fits right into the... Um, 1200 hertz through width, it's slightly below. You can vary the tone by moving within the ultra band. That's 368, let's try 391. I think 391 were. There's 391. bit weak down in the mud, but we can pick it out. Station OO, Oshawa. And uh, let's try 403. I don't think 403 